Guten Tag, pen friends. This is Tom with Goldspot Pens. I am here joined with... My name is Karl. I'm here at LAMI headquarters um, in the international sales department and my role is uh, being a regional head of sales and I've been here almost a decade by now. Almost a decade. Yeah. What, what do you feel makes a LAMI pen a LAMI pen? I mean, when you talk about the, the soul of LAMI, yeah, um, I, would, I would certainly say that we are a very design-driven company. Yeah? Dr. Lamy uh, in 1966 created the Lamy 2000 and by doing so he also set the standard or the corridor that, um, for our design philosophy and ever since then we have been putting a huge emphasis on design and we have very consistently followed our design corridor, the Lamy design corridor. So design in our products but also in our displays, in our building in, 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 in the way people um, furnish their offices and everything is, is, is a very important and very integral part of us. Talking about the soul, I would also say it's very important to know that we are a family company. Yeah? We are fully family owned. Lamy, the brand name, is also the family name. When you work here, and like I said, I've been here almost uh, one decade, you really become part of that family. Right. And you feel <laughs> like at home yeah, when yeah. you come here. So, so I would say um, there's a lot more about these products and this brand than just products that are being sold for a commercial purpose. Yeah. It's, it's more of a philosophy that we are living here. I, and I see that from the moment that you enter. Uh, you see the building yeah. and you see the aesthetics and the design of, of everything. Uh, it just it really it encompasses down to the final product that the end user writes with the overall culture and the, the idea of, of just a simplified, uh, elegant sort of way of living. When, when Dr. Lamy created this, this product, the Lamy 2000, yeah, he, he avoided all opulence in it. Yeah? He reduced it to the pure function. And at the time he did this, this was a revolutionary design for a writing instrument. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no unnecessary bling bling in it. Uh. Absolutely. Even the, the solid gold nib is covered, uh, platinized, so that it doesn't disturb the aesthetics of the, of the product itself. Uh. But yet still lends its uh, useful capacity as a, as a softer, uh, more smoother writing instrument. Exactly, exactly. So the function is still there mm -hmm. and it's relevant, but there's no need to show the gold. So many other brands or products would, would be loud and would show off. Yeah. And we try to avoid all this. Yeah. They would usually put like engraving scroll work on the nib and make it a rather large looking nib exactly. so, it, so it has more visual attraction. Exactly, and we do the total opposite. And by doing so, this is the best example of all, we create timelessly modern products and designs. I mean, this product is 53 years old. It's really hard to believe. And, and you know, it's totally unchanged in materials, design, production, manufacturing processes. And it's still in its price range, in its category, the global market leader. That's incredible. Such a long product life cycle. And uh, the design is still being perceived as modern by today. For me, that's why I'm, I'm also using this uh, very often, especially the fountain pen, naturally. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I simply admire this product. I have a lot of respect for it. And so um, my feeling is towards this product, but also the entire brand. Uh, I, I believe there's a lot of visionary power in Lamy. Mm -hmm. And I also believe that we do have not just a very bright uh, and successful past, but also a very bright and successful future. Seems to be a, a, a close-knit uh, community of, of people who are striving to uh, accomplish what Dr. Lamy had uh, had started, and I could kind of get that from the sense of like how everybody interacts with each other. Yeah, yeah I think, like I said, it's, it's a family company, mm -hmm. yeah, so we, we we sort of feel like a, a family. And what I what I really feel with all the employees here, and also with with, with all stakeholders, mm -hmm. they do have a very high level of respect towards Dr. Lamy and his vision. A few years ago, we had our annual uh, Christmas celebration here at the uh, headquarters, mm -hmm. and then, you know, all the anniversaries were, were, were read. I mean, people have been here 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. Mm -hmm. And then there was one person who was here 50 years. 
Oh, wow. And it was Dr. Lamy. And when he was <laughs> asked to the stage, it was really, people got up and they were applauding and it was oh. just feeling really good. So I think we, we understand his vision and we, we try our best to, to, our best to, to implement it in a, in, a, in a manner that he would uh, see fit. So you were mentioning the 2000 before. Is that pretty much your favorite pen that you like to use? I mean, I'm personally using a lot of Safaris, Alstom, Studios, um, Picos, especially when I travel. I like mm -hmm. to take the Lamy Pico with me because it's super convenient. But the Lamy 2000 is certainly the product that I personally admire the most and have the most respect for. Uh, because this, this, this is a visionary product for me. Yeah. Uh, and the product lifecycle, like I said, of 53 years, which is just starting because every year we are growing in sales. Yeah. Uh, every year we are growing in sales after 53 years, that's for me incredible. Uh, it is. When I first started working at Goldspot, I didn't really know so much about fountain pens. Um, I only knew from the one pen that I had received as a graduation gift, mm -hmm. which was a Parker Sonnet ballpoint. Um, about nicer pens and say, like, oh, well, this is a really nice pen. And it's like, but like I started to understand, well, what fountain pens were really all mm -hmm. about. And one of the first pens that I had purchased as to, to start it was the, the Safari. And you could tell this is a little bit older because it has the, mm -hmm. the black clip exactly. on it. And I brought, I brought it here just to, for, for like good luck and, mm -hmm. you know, just to kind of have it with me as, uh, as I come and visit. Considering that this is supposed to be an everyday starter pen, it's already lasted me over a decade yeah. and it doesn't look you know, poorly worn, so. I mean, we produce products here that they're 100% made in Germany, but they're also fully made in-house. And mm -hmm. we strive to make the product in terms of quality so good that you can really use them for a lifetime. That's very sustainable in my opinion, but it's really also a main drive of our success globally. People, when they buy Lamy, they, they know the quality is not just good, it's excellent. Yes. Right? And uh, coming back to the design, the timeless design, the Safari is older than I am. <laughs> but still, it's very hip and very modern, very trendy among youngsters, millennials, or, 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 or even dig among digital natives, as they call yes. them. Huh? So I, I believe when people talk about design, the success of a product, a long product life cycle, is really a proof of it's, a good it's design. Not, it's not necessarily about trying to capitalize on what is the current trend. It's about establishing it to make it a, a product that will last for centuries. Exactly. Establishing a design that can last or be successful for, for decades, if not longer. Uh. And which nib size do you usually write with? I mean, I started off with uh, M. Uh, okay. I'm still using a lot of M, but uh, today I'm shifting a little bit more towards F. Uh, okay. And I'm shifting a little bit more towards using gold nibs. Of course, here in Germany, uh, everybody starts, almost everybody starts uh, learning uh, to, to handwrite with the Lamy ABC, which is a beginner's nib, right. uh, a special beginner's nib. But then as, uh, once you are comfortable and once you know how to write with a fountain pen, most people here in Germany, like I did, they switch to, to M. But as you become a little bit more sophisticated and you write more, more consciously, I think uh, F is a, it's a pretty good choice. Huh? It's, it's fairly sufficient for like just general purpose and you could write a little bit smaller and not have to worry about like the, the ink so much mm. as, as far as what papers you're mm. trying to use. You went from steel to you've been using more gold nibs. Mm. Um, and that's, I, that's always a, I feel when I recommend pens to people, they say, oh, should I invest in getting the gold nib? Usually I don't tell them to do that right away mm. if that's like their first um, established point to understand fountain pens because it could be completely lost on mm -hmm. somebody. I feel like when you go with getting a stainless steel and then you get a gold nib afterward, then the difference is then appreciated far more. I mean, for example, on a Lamy Safari or Lamy Alstar, you find excellent steel nibs. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So for, for people who, who, who appreciate fountain pens, they will have a very big pleasure in using these steel nibs. Yeah. But I believe there are still customers out there who, who, who want it even a little bit more sophisticated, mm -hmm. a little bit more smooth. And for those ones, the, the gold nibs can certainly be Absolutely. recommended. Yeah. yeah, that just gives that extra little bit of uh, luxury. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. And what kind of uh, ink do you usually use? I mean, I'm, I'm a typical German, I guess, so I use blue ink. Okay. Uh, it's very, very standard here. Mm -hmm. But uh, of course, I also use black inks. Um, my, I'm, I'm, I'm not very, uh, let's put it like this, I'm quite conservative when it comes to ink colors, so I use mainly blue and black. 
But uh, for example, my, my family, my wife, she would use a lot of different colors of inks. Okay. Uh, she, she's a very creative uh, character. Yeah. yeah? And uh, she, she, she loves to, to express her, herself through different colors and so on. But I think that's a very personal um, it is, yeah. preference. What is your favorite task to do during the day? My favorite task? Well, since, since, since I'm in sales, it's of course to conclude uh, deals. At the sale, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, but um, yeah, I mean, to, to be honest, uh, my favorite task in my daily work are my business trips. Uh, okay. half, half of my working time I spend overseas visiting our international uh, distribution partners. And for me, it gives me just great pleasure to go out into the field, into the markets, into the countries to see how actually the brand is being celebrated at a point mm -hmm. of sale level, be it a, a digital or a physical point of sale. Okay. And also what's probably the best of all is to participate in end consumer events. Yeah? Mm -hmm. That can be a, a writing instrument show or it can be a, an exhibition or it can be whatever event it is, when you meet the actual end consumer. Right, and get their feedback. Yeah, I mean, it's beautiful. It's, it's often, they're, they're very enthusiastic about their Lamy products. They already own several of them. They often carry them with them. Mm -hmm. And they, they tell me the stories about that particular product, what they experience with it, and so on. It's, it's just, um, you know, we work very hard here. Yeah. yeah. We want to, 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 to show the beauty of the brand out there. And when you then get a feedback from an end consumer that they love this product, they have an emotion with it, they, 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 they use it on a daily basis, it's, it's rewarding, I can say. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And are you, so you've traveled pretty much uh, everywhere around the world that sells salami? Yeah, I mean, I have per year like 50 to 60 flights. Wow. More or less to every continent. So that's um, a very rewarding job, I can tell you. And the, the beauty of it is that today Lamy is relevant basically around the, the world. It started off as, a, let's say, the leading German school brand and mm -hmm. it developed into the globally leading lifestyle brand in our category. And that's just a, a transformation which brought a lot of good moments along with it. Absolutely. So, you, so then you could speak to a lot of like maybe seeing like if there's some changes in culture. We're in an era where uh, everything is digital, everything mm. is mobile. Uh, people are trying to, I feel, break away from their screens and embrace things that are analog and actually mean something as opposed to just digital bits like ones and zeros mm. and things like that. I believe there's a mega trend in this world. Uh, where especially among young people, millennials and so on, who, who want something real, something mm -hmm. analog, as you say. And, uh, you know, think about it, how many emails you get every day? Right. How many WhatsApp messages or whatever it's going to be? Where's the value in it? Right. Where's the seriousness in it? Huh? It's just uh, you read 100 emails per day, but at what lasts? Huh? It doesn't, it doesn't carry the same weight as seeing like if you had like a <clears throat> stack of letters from somebody and you would see that you would see the paper yeah. layered on top and you would see the inks. I tell you, if today you get a handwritten letter, you're going to read it from A to Z yeah. and you're going to remember it and it will have value. Absolutely. To you. And that's exactly uh, what I believe many people are feeling today. And that's why, especially among young people, writing by hand, especially the fountain pen on a piece of paper, yeah, that uh, has much more relevance than any digital note they ever get. How do you usually enjoy using your pens? For me, I mainly use them as what I call a thinking tool. Okay. Uh, I have, like I said, a lot of flights. Mm -hmm. uh, so the flights I often use to, to draw up strategic plans, concepts. And in order to, to, to channel my thoughts, I write them down. Absolutely. Uh, it really helps me to structure my thoughts and to come up with good results. So I, I would say I mainly use them as a thinking tool. As like an extension or a conduit to put what's in your yeah. head out on some place. I mean, I have a million thoughts on my mind, right. but I, I need a, a result that can be grasped and then be, be, be implemented. Eh? And mm -hmm. in order to channel all these thoughts and ideas, I use my, my, my usually my, my um, this notebook that I have eh? mm -hmm. and my Lamy writing instruments and, uh, and I note it down, it, it really helps me. Eh? Yeah. Also, if I prepare speeches, for example, I don't sit down on a computer and type them, I write them. 
and afterwards I don't need to read them through and memorize them because by writing them down I have already memorized them. Yeah, that's why I think a lot of people kind of miss that fact as far as uh, you know all the digital things that help us, like these little apps that you know you could do like a voice recording or that they help you with memory or things like that. That they're trying to replace what simple pen and paper would have just done in the first place, and it's, you know it's just, it's a shame because it's just as simple as just writing it down, and, and a lot of people miss that point. I mean, at the end of the day, there, there's a lot of research that proves that this combination of uh, motoric movement mm -hmm. and, and visual um, visualization and so on, at the end of the day, in short words, handwriting, right. helps to memorize and to understand mu so much better than typing or talking or right. doing whatever. And for like mental clarity and, and, and also helping with uh, relief stress and just... Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we live in, in this digital world. People are really looking for something something to detox themselves right? Uh, and writing is, is definitely a way to do that. In your travels, of course, you're going to the Lamy stores or you're, you're going to the trade, uh, trade shows or events, mm -hmm. um, but do you ever see people that are around, let's say, locally here in Heidelberg um, that carry Lamy products and like, you know, how do you feel when you see them in the wild, as I yeah. call it? I mean, the first thing I can tell you here is that my daughter, she's now at an age where she's beginning to learn to handwrite, and of course she's using an Lamy ABC. Nice. So that's, of course, very beautiful to see. Yeah. Um, but then again, here in Germany, I mean, Lamy is, is, is everybody knows it, mm -hmm. and many, many people use it. So I often encounter it in business meetings. I often encounter it, even nowadays when I sit at, at airports or, or, or wherever I, I am, I see people using our products and I often also see them wearing them. Uh? Yes. For example, I was recently in uh, Kuwait uh, mm -hmm. where they wear these traditional dresses right. and I saw several people with the Lamy Safari, I mean from the clip you can easily recognize it, even from a distance and uh, they, they actually accessorize themselves with this product uh, mm -hmm. and proudly present it. I make an equivalent to like um, like a message in a bottle. So you, so you put a message in a bottle, you send it out to sea, and you never know because you don't know where it's going to if somebody else is going to read it and appreciate it. But then there's that experience of actually going out and you see it and you see that that, that pen and it could have been the one that you worked on yeah. and somebody is writing with it and just enjoys using it. It's such a, a thrill to see that. It's, it's rewarding. Huh? I, I mean, you've seen it today by yourself. Um, yeah. our, our production control everything in-house. Yeah? And there's so many, partly automated, partly manual labor steps to have a finished product. Huh? So many people here in our factory are working so hard to, to bring these products to perfection. So for me, what I'm trying to do is that uh, whenever I talk to them, I, I tell them how great it is and how great it feels to see so many people nowadays all over the world using these products. Absolutely. It's, it's, uh, it, it makes us proud, I can say. Yeah. So we, we did talk about like the soul of Lamy, but what's the overall philosophy behind all of the products, would you say? I mean, when you think of Lamy, I think there's three very important points. Uh, first is, of course, the design, mm -hmm. uh, our specific and very consistent Lamy design corridor, uh, which, uh, like I said, avoids all opul opulence and which focuses purely to the function and makes everything that we produce timelessly modern. That's the first uh, point. The second point is the fact that we produce everything here in Germany. I think that's very unique, especially in our category right. nowadays. And we not only produce it everything here in Germany, but also fully in-house. So we have all the competence and we control everything. And this leads to the, the third point, which is the quality. You know, when we sit here in internal meetings, decision-making meetings, and mm -hmm. we talk about quality topics, the level of intensity and the level of detail that we discuss about, uh, I believe that's very unique. Uh, I think there's hardly, no matter what category we talk about, I think there's hardly any other company or brand out there who put so much effort and focus onto absolute perfect quality. Making sure that every detail is exactly as you had intended for it to come out. 
that everything is as we had intended it, mm-hmm. and also we, when we define the intention, and then the, the, we the set very very defined. high standards. Yes. Yeah. So all this together, just make sure that, like you said, you can use it for decades mm-hmm. yeah, without it wearing off or without it breaking. Yeah. All right. Well, Carl. It was a pleasure. Thank you so much for taking the time and answering uh, our questions and talking with our viewers. And uh, I appreciate you guys tuning in. And we'll have more videos from Lamy HQ here in Heidelberg, Germany. And as always, thank you, my friends. Take care.